And I know they really wish we would fall till we fall. I'm the big bad wolf, there's a full moon. What's up, guys? Teach from Duke City Kicks here, coming at you guys with another video. And today, I am bringing back one of our most anticipated sneaker series on this channel, and that's going to be another sneaker experiment. Today, I'm going to be testing out making our own soul sauce from household products. Now, this method wasn't made up by me. This method has been around for years. But the latest video on this was actually done in 2012, and that was um, from Sneakerhead in the Bay. I'll go ahead and link his video down below just so you can take a look at it. So I'm going to go ahead and make his product. I'm going to go ahead and make that same soul sauce again, and then I'm going to test it out and see if it actually works. We're going to need three products, and the first product is going to be some hydrogen peroxide and cornstarch. And the last product that you guys can see in the shot here is going to be some oxyclean. Now I do recommend a cup that is large enough because this stuff is going to rise. Um, I know that it's probably going to only be up to like right around here for as far as like everything included, but it's probably going to rise up pretty high. Something this tall will be perfect enough for this. All right, so now that I've given you guys a quick rundown of the products, let's go ahead and get this started. All right, guys, so first things first, we're going to go ahead and pour a half a cup of hydrogen peroxide. So go ahead and get your measuring cup, open up your hydrogen peroxide, and just pour out about a half and a, uh, a cup and a half. So that's going to be four ounces of hydrogen peroxide. That's perfect. So now that we have that cup and a half, we're going to go ahead and we're going to take our big cup or container and we're going ahead and going to add that. So now that that's added, we're going to move on to the next step. And that next step is going to be adding a, tea, a teaspoon or, or I'm sorry, a tablespoon of cornstarch to the mixture. So when you're doing it, you want about this much of cornstarch and you're going to just add it straight to that container. So now that you've added it, it's going to be um it's going to start, you know, to start to dissolve in it. So what you want to do go ahead and do is just mix that up for about uh 30 seconds or so. All right, so now that we've completely mixed it, you guys could kind of see here this is going to turn into like a milky mixture, which is perfect. That's what we need. So the next step that we're going to have to take is we're going to go ahead and go to the microwave now. If you have a, a lid for this, this is going to be the next essential part. We're going to go to the microwave and going to start it for 45 seconds so this can turn into this milky um, mixture into more of like a creamy, like a thick creamy mixture. So let's go to the microwave real quick. So now that I'm here at the microwave, I'm going to go ahead, open it up. I did actually have a lid for this cup, so I'm going to go ahead and put the lid on the cup. I'm going to put it in the microwave here. And again, 45 seconds. So now that we have started the microwave, I'm going ahead and I'm going to sit at the microwave and wait until this is completely done and make sure nothing uh, bad happens. So I'll see you guys back at the scene. So now I'm going to go ahead and remove the lid to the cup. It's kind of hard to tell, but it's starting to turn into that mixture again. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to mix it for a little bit just so I can get it to that, that creamy mixture now that everything's heated up. So now that I've mixed it up a little bit, as you guys could see, instead of it being like that soupy, milky color, it's now that same color, but it's a little bit thicker. So this is the perfect mixture that we wanted to get it out now that it's heated up. So once we've gone, so once that we've, now that we've done that, I'm gonna go ahead and wash this off. Once I've done that, we're now gonna go ahead and add a dash of this OxyClean. Now this is what's gonna help the mixture rise again. So that's why we need at least a big cup or a big container. So ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and take some OxyClean, try to get some enough. So, so just right under a tablespoon of OxyClean is gonna be more than enough. So I'm gonna add that. Make sure you get all of it. And again, so now that we've added it, I'm gonna go ahead and mix it up. So now 
that we have this mixture together, I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna move outside and apply this to the shoe. So I got all the materials that we need for this final step of the video. Um, I went ahead and transferred all the soul sauce into this styrofoam bowl here just so it's easier for us to use this toothbrush and apply to these soles. These are really yellowed soles so that we're probably going to hopefully see some results here even if this does or does not work. And the last thing we'll be using is saran wrap to wrap the shoes. So without further ado, let's go ahead and apply it like we would. Um, if you have any questions about applying this, I will actually link it in my video down below on how to um, use soul sauce for this. And this step is really easy, but if you haven't seen that, go ahead and watch the video down below. But without further ado, let's get started. soul sauce or added the saran wrap I'm gonna go ahead and let these sit outside for about 45 minutes to an hour and check back up on these once I do that I'm probably gonna do it for a second time so two sessions to see if I can get good results so I'll check back in once I'm complete with all of that all right guys so now that you can see I have completely finished the two full trials of applying our homemade soul sauce and the applied shoe that we did is here to the left and the unapplied is here to the right so taking a look at the results real quick as you guys could tell even with the two hour sessions, there is starting to be a little bit of a difference as far as the two shoes. It's starting to clear up a little bit here on the front plastic and then the back part. And as you guys can see here, the biggest difference is going to be here in the back. So you guys can see this back pair has a little bit of like an orange kind of, it's that orange, orangish yellow tint to it that's just from the oxidation. As this left one, you could kind of see it here on the edge but it's starting to clear up a little bit more as we apply the sauce. Same thing for the same thing goes for the bottom here. You guys could kind of tell the difference here again. It's gonna you guys are gonna see this this orangish tint that's starting to go away. But this is completely almost it's almost gone thanks to that soul sauce. So there is a big difference when it comes to that stuff. So I do recommend if you guys have this household material and don't have access to either 40 volume cream or 50 volume cream or other um, products that are made off the internet, then I definitely recommend to try to do this and work this out on your soles. Now if you have shoes that are this bad, it's going to take multiple sessions to get them to get to get the results you want. So I think if I was to continue doing this, I would get the results I want later on down to the time, but um, it's just going to take some time. So that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more content, for more weekly content. This is Teach Signing Out, guys. Peace!